what age did you drop out of school at? So I dropped out of school around fifth grade. You decided you couldn't go ahead with uh, the education system? I thought there wasn't anything new I was learning in school, so there was no uh, point in staying in further. I learned uh, C programming at five, and I had done the Nanto Tetris course when I was uh, 11. Well, I uh, built the entire computer system from NAND gates and then wrote uh, the entire compiler and engine stack and applications on top of that. Just one second, let me pick my jaw up. Okay, it's back there now. So Nasser, you're 16. You are a whiz kid with a Stanford certification. How did the idea of Ati Motors come along? So we are working on interesting uh, problems with Dr. Vinay, who was my mentor for a couple of years, and Saurabh. And uh, while we were doing that, we wanted to do something that was both an interesting engineering problem and was uh, viable commercially. Why a cargo vehicle that's autonomous? Since it's cargo, yeah. the value proposition for autonomous vehicle is a lot better. Because uh, especially in industrial environments, you're moving cargo all the time. Yeah. So utilization is not a problem. Uh, what do you see the practicality, the use of these uh, machines? Where do you see them fit? So I think they fit in a lot of places, but we have taken a conscious decision to stay under the regulatory radar. So factories, um, logistic parks, warehouses. Yeah. I think once regulation catches up, maybe in five years, we know that public roads can handle autonomous vehicles. This vehicle is fully capable. Yeah. But we have this versatility right now that we can handle indoor environments and outdoor environments and the vehicle can seamlessly transition between the two. So it can go from like inside of a warehouse to the inside of a factory. The vehicle looks a little like the auto that we have on the road. Was the auto an inspiration by any chance? It's actually not quite like the auto. It's a tadpole configuration, so there are two front wheels. The design was chosen for uh, maneuverability. Uh, in terms of scalability, in terms of size, how much weight does it handle now? Uh, right now we are planning on having two variants. Yeah. So one carries 150 kgs of cargo and one carries 500 kgs. And all of this autonomous, it doesn't need a driver? No, it does not. Explain the working of this device. How does this really work? We have a, a couple of sensors. We have a, a lidar, yeah. we have a camera, yeah. we have uh, an IMU and wheel encoders. So we, uh, we can detect obstacles around us using the lidar. We do a run first to map yeah. the entire area yeah. and then we can run autonomously. And this is a 100% Desi product. Everything is sourced and made in India itself. Some okay. of the sensors do come from America, yeah. but apart from that, the complete engineering design and everything is done in India. Complete greenfield, ground up design, all done in Bangalore. The future lies in being autonomous. Look at this vehicle. It doesn't need any assistance. It just moves around by itself. I wish I could say the same about myself after this really tiring day. I need a hand to get out of here. Thank you.